So we're here with Marcus Paltala, uh, BMW VDS uh, driver. So Marcus, uh, you told me a little bit about what's happening behind the scenes, the massage, the, the places, the organization of the team. Now let's move on to uh, the, the racing, the competition this weekend. Uh, you told me you didn't drive this morning, you are supposed to drive in the next session, which is starting in about one hour, I think. What do you expect from the car? Is it? Uh, uh, we have, we have. Of course, we know the car. We know the track already. We know the tires because they are always the same. So it, there is not a lot of new things. But of course, the car is fully rebuilt for this weekend. So we need to make sure that every everything is running well. We had some small problems this morning with electronic issues, and we we solved them in this morning. But that meant that we lost most of the testing time. So we basically we start now in the afternoon in the pre-qualifying session to, to do what we wanted to test so we have few things on the setup and uh, just just putting mileage on the car to make sure everything is running and to get all the drivers in the rhythm and to see how the tires are working here in this temperature and just basic work there's long list always when we come on the race weekend and then we go step by step through it yeah so uh, there is a change in the timing compared to last year as we have a Super Bowl tomorrow in the afternoon, uh, I think you you will be in the top 20. I think it's fair to say that. No, it's not because no? like we have done three races so far in Blanc Pan. I think we have qualified 16th and 18th, and, and here you have more cars. You have more uh, top cars, also more more cars in the pro class. So we are thinking that if everything is fine, we should be in the top 20. But for sure, it's not not a done deal. A lot of people have asked me who's going to be the driver in the top 20 and in the Super Bowl, but we will see that tomorrow. Today is, is a long day. Today we prepare for the race. We qualify and uh, we have to qualify all the drivers in the night. So that's the that's the main target. Super Bowl is something which we'll just we will do tomorrow if we are in. And um, yeah. What no. was the question again? <laughs> it's okay. And. Let's say you're on the Super Bowl, do you know already who is going to drive the Super Bowl or is it something that you're going to look at tonight? Well, it's not decided, but uh, I, I would guess it's Maxim. He's, he's really, really quick. I think he's one of the quickest GT drivers in the world at the moment. He's young and motivated. He's, uh, he, he's hot at the moment and uh, that's why in all the Blanc Pair races we always put him in the Q3, which is always the fastest session with lightest car, best grip. So uh, we just use him because he's always delivering a good result. So. It's not decided, but I, I would say it will be Max. There are two cars in the team, yours and the one of Mike and Bert. Yeah. Uh, which one is going flat out at the start of the race? Because you're you're fighting for the championship, you cannot give, I guess, hundred percent immediately. Well, for for our car, um, we have two the targets. This this uh, the first target is this Blanc Blanc championship. And this race is just part of the championship. It happens to be longer, so we have to even be more careful than no in a normal three-hour race. And the, whatever you, if you want to do win a 24-hour race or pick up points for the championship, you have to finish. So you cannot do crazy things. Whatever you want, whatever is your target. Uh, we haven't discussed it yet, but I think that at least the six-hour, 12-hour mark, we will just do our thing, our rhythm. Let the others do what they do. And then we see where we are, but that's always the same. Even if you want to fight for the, only the race win, you still go in your own rhythm until the night or until the morning, and then you start fighting more or, or less. But for sure, in the first lap, it's stupid to take risks, and um, we are not going to do that for sure with either cars because it just doesn't bring anything else than a bigger risk to stop the race too early. Last question: There are a lot of cars, McLarens, BMW, um, Audis. Ferraris, which one is the, the strongest opponent? You told me yesterday uh, the, the, the Audis. Of, uh... I think directly from car point of view, all of these can win. They are all quick. Ferrari, McLaren, Porsche, Mercedes, uh, BMW, Audi. Of course, Audi is impressive when they come with, um, with all these uh, factory teams and, and drivers. So they are for sure the strongest as a package and they have many cars who can win. but. It's not said that it's going to be an Audi. I mean, there are a few strong BMWs, and um, Ferrari is always quick. There is a local team Pro Speed with the Porsche with good drivers. Uh, there are just so many, so many uh, teams, cars, and drivers who can win it. And actually, 
whoever is leading the race after 15 hours and has a flat tire, there's immediately five cars who want to take the place. So, so it's also a little bit about luck and avoiding mistakes and, and so forth. So it's just a normal race. It doesn't matter really if, it's, if there are three or 30 cars who can win. We just have to do our own thing and uh, especially avoid mistakes. Okay. Thank you, Marcus. Thank you.